From the Hardware Configuration Editor, click the Online button. When troubleshooting hardware, placing the Hardware Configuration Online is a great place to start. You get a graphical view of the modules and can generally see what area to troubleshoot. From this view, you can see there's a diagnostic with the S7300 CPU and also one with the analog module in slot 7. Let's begin by opening the module information tool of the CPU. While online, double click the CPU. The general window notes that the CPU's error LED is illuminated. However, the CPU is still in the run mode. Click the Diagnostic Buffer tab. Message 1 indicates that there's a problem with or maintenance is needed for a module. The module type is an analog signal module with the input address 304. Channel information available means that you can go to the module itself and find channel or input signal. Level diagnostics at the module or submodule, which is where the fault is. Also, the fault is external, not in the code. Close the CPU's module information window. In order to get diagnostics from the analog input module, this feature had to be enabled during hardware configuration and then downloaded. You can learn more about this in Parameterizing Hardware Modules videos. Double click on the analog input module. You can do this either from the overview window or the details window. The general tab shows that a diagnostic interrupt has been detected. Click on the Diagnostic Interrupt tab. The standard diagnosis of the module window shows that there's an external error, a faulty module, and that the error occurred with the channel or incoming signal. The bottom window shows channel-specific diagnostics. In particular, it was channel zero, and the problem is that the analog input signal went above the normal range. If this continues to be a problem, we will want to check the instrument for maintenance, cleaning, and possibly recalibration. The error has now been cleared. Click the Update button. The channel error is now cleared. Close the Analog Input Module Information window.